the Heavy Duty Express. What's up, what's up, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, Heavy Duty, coming at you once again with another mukbang thing. I'd like to welcome y'all once again aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. What can I say? And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and share for me. One more time, comment, like, and share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell, select all. That way every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification, come check us out. Yo! Man, I'm so glad to be back. I've been under the weather, as y'all know. Right? I have, I've, I've had three COVID tests done, and all three come back positive. So, um... I, I, I think I might have it, y'all. But I, th I think I'm about a week in, so maybe I only got, like, another week left. I'm hoping, because uh, it's just, <laughs> it drains you. I ain't gonna lie to you. You got no energy, no appetite, hence no videos. I mean, I, I eat a little bit, but not enough to do a show with. So, I mean, I want to give y'all the best I can give you. And uh, tonight, we got some good stuff. My auntie cooked up some good homemade beef soup. It's took beef stew meat and make it just a soup. Y'all, look at this. We got potatoes, carrots, corn, onions, green beans, sweet peas, and like I said, beef, uh, beef stew meat. Oh my goodness, y'all. I can't wait to dig into that. I put some salt and pepper in there to kind of flavor it up a little bit, season it up. And uh, I got some crackers I'm going to mix in it because I love crackers with my soup. You know what I'm saying? I, I, sometimes, most most time, I'll just take them and crumble them up in there. I ain't going to lie to you. I just... So, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then we're going to get into this. You ready? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal for the nourishment of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, yes. Thank the Lord. I was kicking y'all. I'm still doing I'm still going. It's rough. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wouldn't wish this stuff on my worst enemy. Go ahead and crumble me some crackers up in him. Mm. So how's everybody been doing? I hope none of y'all's come down with this crap. Y'all, it, it, it ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. I mean, you get sick as a dog, no appetite, lose your taste, lose your smell. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Smack me. Smack some sense into me. Y'all want a bite? Yum, yum. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is most excellent. Be sure to give Aunt Mary a good compliment on it, y'all. This is excellent. I wish I wish I could stick the spoon through the screen. Y'all can have a bite for real. Mmm. Mmm. Let's put some more crackers in there. I love crackers in my soup. Well, I put it like this. I like a little soup with my crackers. <laughs> I do my soup the same way I do my uh, my noodles, my ramen noodles. I crush some jokers up and soak up all the juice. Of course, I mean, I cook mine in the microwave, and I've been doing it so long. I know exactly how much water to put in there to when they get through cooking, there ain't a whole lot of water left. So there ain't much juice to soak up. And then crackers get in there and not be so soggy. Oh my goodness. 
and I like the uh, Kroger sells. It's uh, called Private Selection, I think. It's habanero cheese spread in little cups about about that big around. Um, that stuff is so good. I mix that in there and then mix that in there with it, and then sometimes like I'll put like sandwich meat, cut up some sandwich meat and dice it up and put it in there. It's like. Maybe ham or turkey or bologna, hot dogs, smoked sausage, chicken, bacock. Cause y'all know me, I love some chicken. But uh, yeah, that's just the way I do my noodles. And of course, a little heat to go with it. But anyways, he, I got to order me some of that lips fire hot sauce. Mm. Ah, yeah, y'all. I ain't got bubble tonight. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. My word. I got a Pepsi Zero Sugar. It's pretty good. I like it. It tastes pretty good. And uh, y'all see, I got my little road dog here. On. My engine. Mm. Y'all, hey. I gotta be like that engine that didn't give up. Of course. When you don't have an appetite and you don't want to eat, what can you do? Mo crackles. <laughs> um, I might as well go ahead and put these other few in here because that's all that's left to the few. And then that little bit right there. <laughs> now, put my little package over here to the side. I can get down with it now, y'all. Oops. Golly. Just made a big old mess. But hey, that's just me. That's what I do. That's what I do. Jay, us here in the in the house, me, my mom, my grandmother, and my aunt, all four of us <clears throat> tested positive for COVID, so we're all under quarantine. And my grandmother, it said that hers came back positive, but she really hadn't shown no signs. But we're keeping a close eye on her. So like I said, my aunt cooked this, so they let me know it was ready. I went there. My mother's sitting there at the table, eating dinner, eating her some soup. They made, she made some cornbread muffins, but I, li I like crackers better with my soup, better than cornbread. So, she was eating some cornbread with her soup. Um, as I've said before, grandmother, she's deaf. You I mean you got to get right up in her ear and almost scream at the top of your lungs before she can hear you. So, but I mean, if you talk kind of slow and where she can basically read your lips, you can talk to her that way. But you got to go slow. Well, anyway, 
I asked her, I said, are you feeling okay? And I went too fast the first time. And she said, huh? I said, are you feeling okay? And she said, yeah, I'm feeling okay. I'm like, okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I know y'all been seeing all that fun lips and production and hashtag the cannons and sound world be having. Excuse me, y'all. I wish I could have been there. Will one day. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Coming like a sheriff. What I say? Coming like a sheriff. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Mm. Y'all. And lip and sounds were both challenged me. Lips did the challenge me in the two 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 challenge. And Sound World challenged me in the twenty wings challenge. So, as soon as I get over the sickness and get my appetite back, it's on a cracker like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on and cracker like it. Mmm. That's so good, y'all. Y'all want another bite? Give y'all a good big old bite. There we go. Mmm. That's good. I want to finish it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm just about there. Y'all know me. I'm be tapping out solidly. Right? Yep, it's almost that time. Excuse me. Mm. Hope y'all having a great weekend. Staying safe. Mm. There we are. Oh, wait. I ain't got to check the time on that one. Shoot. Sure. <laughs>
I'm full as a tick on a hundred pound dog, but I ain't got a little, I ain't gonna lie to you, I got a little miserable in. That stuff fill you up quick and you not even know it yet. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and read the daily bread. See what we're working with today. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got a little bit more room now. I ain't miserable. But I ain't finna eat no more either. <laughs> Let's see. Excuse <coughs> me. Today is Saturday, February the 27th, 2021. The title for today is No Longer Yourself. The reading comes from Galatians 2, 14 through 21. It says up at the top, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's Galatians 2, 20. Excuse me. It says, in the summer of 1859, Monsieur Charles Blondin became the first person to cross Niagara Falls on a tightrope. Brave man. Something he would go on to do hundreds of times. Hundreds of times, a brave man. Um, once he did it with his manager, Harry Colcord, on his back. Very, very brave man. Um, Blondin gave Colcord these instructions. Look up, Harry. You are no longer Colcord. You are Blondin. If I sway, sway with me. Do not attempt to do any balancing yourself. If you do, we will both go to our death. Paul, in essence, said to the Galatian believers, you can't walk the line of living a life that is pleasing to God apart from faith in Christ. But here's the good news. You don't have to. No amount of tempting to earn attempting to earn your way earn our way to God will ever cut it. So we're passive in our salvation. Oh it's so are we passive in our salvation? No. Our invitation is to cling to Christ. Clinging to Christ means putting to death an old, independent way of living. It's as if we ourselves have died. Yet we go on living. But the life we now live in the body, we live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for us. Where are we trying to walk? Yeah, where are we trying to walk the tightrope today? Where? I, I didn't get that this morning. It says, where are we trying to walk the tightrope today? God hasn't called us to walk out on the rope to him. He's called us to cling to him and walk this life with him. I like that. I mean, it's it's a really good story. I, I just really didn't understand that asking that question at the beginning of that sentence right there. It says, "Where are we trying to walk the tightrope today?" Oh, in okay, I, I get it now. In which aspect of life are we trying to walk the tightrope today? And a lot of people, there's a lot of different ways. Um. I really can't say that that I'm trying to walk a tightrope anywhere. I mean, I I don't do anything. I I I sit here at the house. I mean, especially now that I can't go to work because I'm in quarantine. But I mean, even before then, I don't know. But today's reflective praise is, dear Jesus. Thank you for doing for me what I could never do for myself. 
I turn away from trying to please you on my own. I'm so glad I don't need to earn your love. Amen. Yeah, you never need, you never need to earn Jesus' love. Jesus loves us no matter what. I mean, we man, even probably well, I, they don't they probably don't like murderers, but I mean, he loves us all. I mean, we all sin every day. I mean, that's 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 why he came and gave his life for us. So, so I mean, so it could be this way. He loves us no matter what. So, I mean, if y'all want to go back and read um, Galatians, I think it's Galatians 2, yeah, Galatians 2, 14 through 21, and, um, see how, see how you can, see what you can take out of it. That was, that was a good, that was a good reading today, y'all, I like it. Um, coming like a share from me. But y'all, I'm full, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that, that wasn't much, but I mean, I'm stuffed. And I'm tired. No, you, you don't have no, hardly no energy. I was, um, I actually talked to a guy with the state health board they called today. And I actually missed the call and I had to call him back because I was asleep. And, um, when I called him back, it was just, he wanted to ask me how, basically what I mean, what symptoms I was having, how I was feeling with the symptoms. Um, asked me if I had any questions about 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 COVID and stuff. And I mean, I, would, I asked him a couple things. I mean, I asked him because I mean, I've heard that that once you get it, you can't get it again. Then I've heard that that you can get it again after you've had it. So I mean, I asked him that, and he said. Since he's been doing what he's doing, and calling people and asking questions about the about the virus, he said he's been doing that since uh, June or no July of last year, and in almost a year, he's only talked to two people that have had it again that have had it twice, so. And he said he talks to numerous people a day, and that's been almost a year. So, <laughs> yeah, he's he's talked to a lot of people. But I mean, I, so I mean, but it just I mean, you it, it's it's maybe a few and far between thing, but it uh, it is possible to get it again if you have it. So if if you've had it, still be careful, y'all. Still be careful. I mean. Even if you survive it the first time, I mean, if you if you get it the second time, and it's a worser case or a different strand or, or whatever, I mean, I, it could take you out. I, I'm I'm lucky. All of us are lucky. I mean, it's just, uh, the, the doctor said it's. I mean, it's, it's a, it will bring you down, but it's not going to kill you. It's not that, you know. I mean, it's a low, it's a light case, so I mean, even though it's light, it's. With me already being still had with the bronchitis, I mean it's it's rough. I ain't gonna lie to you. But enough on that, y'all. I love y'all, and thank you once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And uh, until next time, may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get one, always remember, call on the good Lord. He'll let you through it if you only believe. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the meal. I really did. That soup was good. Like I said, <laughs> hand of applause for uh, for for Auntie, cause it was really good, Auntie. So y'all, um, I'm gonna get up out of here. Gonna go clean my bowl up, put my stuff away, and lay back down. Um, so till next time. I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Love each other. Love, love, love yourself, and just be happy, y'all. Nothing else matters but, but happiness. Get you some. But I love y'all. Bye bye. Mwah. Peace.